I, I was out there traveling the world for Optimum Nutrition. Great partnership. Love those guys. Um, but I didn't have anything that was my own. I had my YouTube channel, but I should have done an apparel company or, you know, like you, you, you feel like you're going to be around doing stuff for forever. But it's like when you have a, a passion about something, I'm always, I always, people always ask me like, what would you dif- do differently? I would follow my gut instinct and where I have passion, let that energy flow there and start something that's your own. Um, because that pro- that, you know, my partnership with Optimum Nutrition, I was supposed to have my own line with them. And all of a sudden one day it was just like, oh, we can't do this. The rug was pulled out and it was kind of like, shit, I just gave you guys seven years traveling the world, 12 expos a year. Granted, it was a mutual beneficial relationship, but it was like, dang, like I felt like, you know, people would ask me all the time, like, do you own Optimum Nutrition? I was like, no, I wish, but you give your heart and soul and it's like all of a sudden, you know, so I always tell people like have something that is yours mm-hmm. that you're also building. Like you can do other things, but what is it that you want to wake up and do in 15 years and, and still be passionate about? Man, I think that's great advice. But like, I also think to myself, you know, cause we have guys on our team, right. Yep. That work for us. And it's like, uh, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like two sides of the same coin in yep. some ways, like follow your passion do this stuff. But it's also like, come build this amazing team with us. Yeah. And it's not yours. You know what I mean? So that's a good like, point. I, I think the yeah. difference is, is that the world I was in, with YouTube, like I was putting all my time in, in YouTube on Instagram. So that audience was there. Like mm. I, I had mm. the audience. I was, I was bringing my audience to Optimum Nutrition. Yeah. 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 Um, you different. Were, you were bringing the inflow. Yeah. yeah. You weren't packaging boxes. Right, exactly. Yeah. So it, a little bit different in that, like I didn't come on to Optimum Nutrition as a salesperson and one yeah, build course, from yeah. internally. It was like, here, I'm, I'm bringing my audience to Optimum Nutrition. That's more or less the one I'm talking about. If you have eyeballs, do something with those eyeballs when you can, while you can, because mm. you're not going to have eyeballs forever. Mm. Yeah, like, is that something you think about? Because, like, obviously, you've always been the guy that looks the part, right? Like, I don't know how many teenage boys want to look like Steve Cook at one point, but <laughs> count, count me as one of them <laughs> at one point. But, you know, eventually, people grow out of yeah. it, right? And eventually, Steve Cook's not going to look like he did. There's going to be the next Steve Cook yeah. or whatever, and there probably is already, right? Yeah, oh, for sure. So, so how, do, how, have you, <laughs> like, how have you wrestled with that, like, just internally? I think, for me, it's more about, okay... 